So here we have to find the coefficient of x squared in this expansion. Again, coefficient of x squared is, for example, if you have a x squared, the value we need to give is just the value in the beginning. So let's first find the term in x squared. For example, here, if you were to expand this, you will do 6, choose something, the first term is x, and then here we have plus 2 of x. Now we have to choose the power here. So what power can I choose so that I can have x squared as my term? Now by trial and error, we can observe that if you choose 4 here, this will have to be 4. Again, this and this will always match. And then 6 minus 2, I think this is wrong. It should be 4 here and 2 here. My apologies. If you choose 2 here, this will have to be 2. 6 minus 2 will be 4. Because again, we need to determine x squared. So let's see what can we do. Again, I was saying that we have to do this by trial. Okay, so first thing, 6 choose 2 will be 15. x power 4 is x power 4. 2 power 2 is 4 over the value of x squared. Now, as we simplify, you can see this and this will cancel out to be 2. You'll have 60 x power 2. But your answer just needs to be the coefficient of x squared, which is only this one. So 60 will be your answer for this question.